Thank you to all my subscribers on my YouTube channel, Arriba La Vida. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now! In the previous videos, I did how to change decimals into percents. On the plumbing test, you also have how to change percents to decimals, so I decided to do another video for that. I want to assume you know how to go backwards, but as a teacher, we know that we cannot assume that our kids will figure that out mentally. We still have to teach it. So here it goes. So obviously the rule is going backwards. So we're going to change percents to decimals. We must move the decimal twice to the left, right? So where did I say our decimal is at invisibly if you don't see it? So right here we have in the first example, 35%. There is no decimal. So where is it invisibly? Is it here in the front? Never. The decimal can never be invisibly in the front. Can you have it in between numbers invisibly? Never. You could never have a decimal in between numbers invisibly. It must be there for you to know or for the whole world to know that it exists and it is there. So it cannot be there. So where is it invisibly that it does not change the amount? It's in the back. So 35% is the same thing as 35 point percent. Why? Because 35 point, if I add a zero, that still means 35 holes. So that's still 35%. So if we put that decimal in the back, now we're going to move the decimal twice to the left to convert it into a decimal. I know you're confused. You're like, wait, I just put the decimal. Yeah, but this is the original problem and that's 35%. Now you got to make it into a decimal. So if you move this decimal twice to the left, one, two, your decimal is now in the front and you remove the percent out of the way. So your answer is 0.35 and that zero at the end could be invisible. It doesn't mean anything. It's still 0.35. You can even add your calculator will always put an invisible zero because there's zero holes in the front. Zero holes means zero dollars. There's nothing there. It's just 35 cents. So 35% becomes 0.35. 35 and remove that percent because we're changing percents to decimals if you leave the percent you didn't change anything you just did something that doesn't even exist or mean anything in the real world so that is how we change 35 percent now let's go to 10 percent 10 percent where's our invisible decimal yes in the back so if you move that twice to the left one two the decimal is now in the front it's no longer in the back so it becomes point ten which you could put that invisible zero, 0 0.10, or remember that ending zero doesn't even have to be there. So 0 0.10 is exactly the same as 0 0.1. It means the exact same thing, 10 cents. 0 0.1 is 10 cents, okay? That is not one cent, mi gente. 0 0.1 is not one cent. There's an invisible zero at the back, so it's 0 0.10. If you wanted it to be one cent, it's 0 0.01, but that's not what we're talking about, but that's how you write one penny, one cent. All right, not this one. My kids always used to get confused. All right, next, let's go to the next one, 225%. There's no decimal, so where is it at invisibly? Always all the way to the back, to the right back. 225.0% right so we're gonna move that twice to the right we're gonna jump one number jump two numbers so guess what it ended up here so 225 percent changing it into its decimal really means 2.25 which it backs up the last problem when i did 1.25 we moved it twice to the right it became 125 percent remember when there's a whole number in the last one one meant 100 percent right? So two means 200% and this is going to make it more. So that's why it's 225% really means 2.25 in decimal form. And last but not least, 1.25. This is confusing. I know this is a decimal in a percent. So yes, it is a percent, but there's a decimal in the percent. So it really means 1.25%. That's a really, really, really small amount because 1%, think about it. 1% well, not even the bank gives you back in interest 1%, right? So this is a little bit more from 1%. So what decimal is that? So then that means the decimal has to be smaller because your percentage is always bigger than a uh, decimal. Symphony, doing a video. Sorry, Amigo. So we're going to still, same rule, 
Move the decimal twice to the left. So we're gonna go one. Hey, there's no more numbers to jump over. So when you jump over your decimal ends here, not here anymore, what do you do to the empty spot? Yes, add a zero. So 1.25% really means 0 0.0125 in its decimal form. And you could add a zero because your calculator will automatically add that zero even if you don't put it. So 1.25% really means 0 0.0125 in decimal. Love you guys. Arriba la vida. My dog is going crazy. Gotta go. Subscribe.